Yes, good sit. Right, hello and welcome back to Street Pigeon MTB um, on, a, on a really bitterly cold day. Today, yeah, it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a mini adventure. Decided just to sort of mix it up a bit, get on trail forks last night and just look for trails kind of like within sort of a, an hour, an hour and a half drive of Peebles. And yeah, just fancied something different. I've no idea what the trails are gonna be like. Um, check them all on trail forks. Um, I know there's a lot of trails that are um, closed at the moment or have storm damage, um, but check trail forks. All the reports on these trails look pretty, pretty good. Um, and it was pretty nice nice because we've actually just come down this sort of uh, road that goes from St Mary's Lock to Moffat. Yeah, if you've not driven that road as well, um, not that I'm promoting needless driving, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, just, just really stunning scenery. You know, you could be, you could be somewhere in the Highlands or something. It just changes so radically from, from Peebles. And uh, we actually stopped at uh, Greymere's Tail, which is one of the sort of uh, largest waterfall drops in the UK. I actually did a ride video there. Uh, it was about a year ago, so I'll put the link up there. But yeah, it's just fantastic. So. Yeah, we're just gonna um, get the, the wagon unpacked, get on the bikes, uh, got the hardtail today. Um, yeah, it's just becoming my winter steed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just see what these trails are like. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's just good to mix up and go new places. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. And yeah, of course, if you're, if you're liking the video so far and you can see the work that's gone into it, really appreciate you hitting that we like button. It's a super cliched thing to, to ask for on YouTube, but unfortunately it does make a real difference to, to whether the videos are seen or not. Right, let's get on the trails. Right, well, Power Trail Forks has got us here to the top of the hill and we've scoped out a, a sort of red graded trail, the others are black, uh, called uh, Lockdown. I feel like that's probably a good one to sort of, uh, yeah, warm up on. But um, yeah, it's quite a nice part of the world we got to. Got quite a nice vista um, and it's actually fairly sheltered, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the trails are like. Right. Finally check on Trail Forks, folk check we're in the right place. Weather update, it started tipping it down, man. But uh, are we going to do this then, are we? Yeah. Let's go and give this a wee spin. Okay, so, line trail. No idea what it's going to be like. <laughs> well, so far it's dark. <laughs> so, back in to the dark. Whoa. Whoa. That is... Get she has! Oh, I want that tire to clear. Oh, jeez, man. This is so difficult. I want the mud to get out of that tire. Oh, my God. So difficult to ride. Well, this is uh, the Trail Forks Mystery Tour has turned into quite something. I haven't to kind of feel like really adapt my riding. Not ridden in as muddy conditions as this for a long time. Oh, oh my, my, my. Oh, dude, that was pretty full on. Whoa, so the Trail Forks uh, journey's escalated a bit. That was a. Uh... So, not, not particularly uh, technical trails at all, actually. Like, they're not bad, but. I don't know if you came across in the camera, but there's this thick, gloopy mud. And what happened really quickly was all the sort of tire, the spaces in between the knobs and the tires just filled in and you had like nothing. I had no front, no rear. Uh, I'll have a look, see if you can see. But yeah, I mean, that's, the tires had a bit of a chance to unclog 
but you can kind of see what we're dealing with. So yeah, it was a load of fun. So yeah, it's nice doing blind stuff, and getting out of your comfort zone, so really good. Right, continuing the adventure. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, it's got pretty, yeah, it's turned into like proper January weather. So we'll see how much longer. Um, one thing I didn't check on Trail Forks was the climb and it's a sloggy beast. So yeah, we'll, we'll head down this trail and see what's next. But um, hoping there's a little bit more grip on this one because that's pretty wild. Okay. Oh, it is a tough time of year to ride this. Just, uh, it's cold and damp. And... Oh, this is cool, a bit different again. That's the best thing about exploring new places. You just never exactly know what you're going to find and what the terrain is going to be like. Whoa, dude. Oh no, I totally missed that feature now. Oh, holy moly, dude. I lost that, that's pretty. Right, need to get back on. Right. Oh. Whoa, this is gnarly, man. Oh my gosh. I'm making this look terrible, but it's just really slick. Despite there being quite a lot of rock there, it's a weird sort of feeling under the wheels. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty steep, pretty gnarly. Oh, dude! That was awesome. You did really well, I lost it, just got into one there. There's That's a steep section. Yeah. Section well, folks, that definitely got the heart rate up. Um, it's funny, I, I watched that trail on YouTube uh, last night and it looked pretty tame, but um, it's way steeper than it looks on, on camera, I can tell you that. And uh, yeah, it's, um, we were just saying that the trails aren't technically difficult, but the conditions are making them really difficult. There's quite a lot of sort of committing steep shoots where you just kind of got to go for it. and hope the bike will get you there so yeah it's a it's a pretty full-on wee place actually oh I tell you that cairn is a sight for sore eyes it's a really tough climb I think we've only done about 12 kilometers of riding which is not much but 700 meters of climbing which sort of indicates it's how steep it is. And this is steep as well. Oh, yeah, I'm on. So the hard tail's pretty good. Hey guys, we're going to try and get to this. Is, we're going to try and find one of these junctions and probably stop. Try and work out where we were. Oh, it's so slick up here, dude. This is why that last trail when we were right in the thick of it was so tricky because because this isn't well ridden. The mud is really yeah. Uh, Thick, gloopy, and it's difficult for the tires to bite down underneath. Yo, it's crazy, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, right, we'll get to the next junction, try and work out where we went. There was a time when Trail Fox did not exist. Yo, slick, man. You just drifted. That's mad. So mad. A lot of fun, though. Wow, dude. Yes, good save, bro. Oh, this is just slick. My God, Joe. Have you ever drifted a bike so much in your life? <laughs> I've got a pretty meaty tire up front as well, folks. Like, oh, oh, come on, bro. Jeez. Wow. Wow. Oh my, sorry, I can't speak. Wow. <laughs> the rear end is just coming around on the bike the whole time. I like this trail, bud. This is so intense, folks. There's just slop. Just trying to look ahead, turn the hips, trust the front. Whoa. Oh my gosh, dudes. Oh, this is a great trail. I love it, trail builders, man. Respect. Oh. No. Ah. 
Oh yeah! Yeah, we have it in this. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, oh man, <laughs> nearly in the tree then. Wow. <laughs> right, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, back inside, back at the house. And uh, normally do like a little outro uh, at the end of the trails, but it was bitterly cold today. And yeah, just uh, I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, we had a load of fun today. It was cool just to get on Trail Forks, find a new place, and just ride some new stuff. Not the most technically challenging trails, but um, the conditions made it pretty difficult. So yeah, I had a lot of enjoyment. So yeah, just gonna get back, warm up, cup of tea, get some food, and uh, yeah, just chill out. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you again hopefully for the next vlog. Cheers. Mm -hmm.